Yes. Hoy bak şimdi kimler ayır. It's it's my passion. It's my my love. It's just who I am. It keeps me high on happiness and energy, and I love it. Every summer, for almost three months, I'm traveling around to festivals. And it became my life. Sorry? Excuse me. My name is Gal. I live in Tel Aviv, in Israel. And I just love festivals. Thanks so much. And I work as a multimedia teacher from September until June. And in June, I go to festivals. Oh, the other time, yeah. That's, that's not a good team. <laughs> 2015 was the first uh, ticket I did. And that year, they published a photo of myself in the website. The next year I came, I saw it on the big poster on the fence. And that's that's how, how the hashtag the ways of madness came to life. Again. One, two, three. Almost. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's go. Wizard Madness is the name of the wheelchair that I use. It's been everywhere with me from eight years when I started travel. It used to be a basketball wheelchair, but I took it and I used it for festivals. Probably in the last eight years, I've been to more than a hundred music festivals and events around the world. I go every year to Primavera Sound in Barcelona. Um, I've been to Sweden Rock Festival. I've been to Rock Werther in Belgium. I go to Tomorrowland every year. Ziggett uh, was something I knew about since I began to travel. The thing that was concerned me is how accessible festivals are. And I actually even wrote the festival. Then they, they reassured me again that, that I can come and 
Enjoy my food. This is it. It's called Access Land. It's just a campsite. It has pathways around, and between the pathways, the entrance to the tents are. And so we can just roll in and jump in the tent. <laughs> And every year I see more and more people in more and more tents and I'm just really happy, it makes me really happy. When I came the first time to Sigurd, there was a big post of him uh, in the crowd and uh, some people pushed him up and uh, he was sitting in his wheelchair and uh, he's swimming on the wave of, of the people and uh, he's, he had his his incredible smile and he was partying, wow! And this picture was phenomenal. Also, it was fantastic to see him. He changed uh, the way of partying. Uh, I am the party. Yeah, 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 it's a party. <laughs> the first festival, I was very naive. I basically stayed on the wheelchair ramp the whole day and did move. Because I didn't know it's, it's a possibility. And then I, I met new people, it became more social. Thank you, have fun. I don't. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's <laughs> It was my first time at the ticket. And I just saw a random guy like dancing on his own. We just danced and the whole night. I didn't think much of it, but she gave me a number and we met the next day, the next day, and the next day, because it's seven days and we become really close friends. I would lose him. He was just in the crowd and people were lifting him from afar. I could see it was like, oh, that's my friend over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're crazy. But I'm crazy too, so. My favorite party music her style and Kuhn is going to, to play here for the first time and every 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 chance I, I get to, to go to the set I go and, and it's phenomenal I like it very much it, it's crazy and crazy music
ready for everything. You have to also be a bit nuts and, and to trust complete strangers. wanting to give me the experience. It's a huge, huge gesture. I can say I'm grateful I am for that. Sometimes they ask me, how was the view? <laughs> I don't see anything. Well, I, I, just, see, I just see light from stages. I don't, I don't see um, details. I have a condition that affects my ability to, to walk my ability to speak and my ability to see. When I used to travel to see music, I used to use the phone, Zoom, and just watch through my phone. That's how, I, that's how I'm really able to see something. But I couldn't enjoy the music and the atmosphere with the phone in my hand. So I just let it go. For example, airports and train stations and bus stations. I cannot see the truck number or the bus number. And the worst is Uber for me. I, I get lots of cancellations from drivers and paid because I couldn't find them. And that, that sucks. Are you coming for the documentary film, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know that, great. Uh, what can be the solution for that? The solution for what? Uh, for going down? Yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, how can I help you? you just grab you the, the handle there. Yeah. OK. Yeah? Yeah. As long as I'm sitting down, so yeah. on the wheel, it's OK. Yeah. Cool. I'm just going forward so and check if, like, nobody's in the wheel. No, nobody in the wheel, I see. And, but, but you are in the way now. I'm traveling alone, but I always get assistance from people, from strangers, from complete strangers. Thank you. Sorry. And that's where it showed me that the people are good. Without people, I won't go anywhere. I won't be able to. Thank you.
join festivals and meet a lot of people and some of them come back every year. For example, in Ticket or in Tomorrowland, I, I see most, most of the people that I saw last, from last year and I met, met them again and again. I want to live in this place. Before I traveled to, to see music for the first time, I had nothing. I had no, no friends and a parrot from sitting at home and watching movies, basically, you know, life. In my sixth grade, my teacher played at the album The Wall, the Pink Floyd um, production, and told us a story about the meaning of it. And it just stayed with me for the years. When I saw that Roger Waters have every tool of the world, I had to see that. I had to go and see that. Since then, I, I gained my confidence and it just changed my life. It's symbolic because in, in the show itself, they made a wall between the crowd and the band. And at the end of it, they break it down. And in a sense, I feel the same, the same thing. I feel that a wall broke down in me and I became myself. At that night, I met my best friend in the show. And, and from there on, I had, I had someone to go to. It's very unique for me, and I, I, I have best memories from here. A lot of my closest friends I met here, and every time I come here, I keep meeting new people and new friends, and just love it.
I feel hopeful to, to show to more people that it's not impossible and everything can be resolved and, and to, sh to show even my family how, how I do because they always ask me, how do you manage? And I guess with this thing, I will have some, 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 some insight to show them and some answers for them because I cannot really tell. Looking back, I feel very lucky that I have discovered my passion, that I discovered what I love in life. It's what keeps me going and what keeps me up. Take a leap of faith and trust the people around you. There is a lot of goodness in this world and I, I got to meet it personally, everywhere. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I can't imagine my life without festivals and without this festival in particular. It just was the best week of my life. And it's been it's over yet. <laughs> um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say, even to the guy in the fucking wheelchair, <laughs> He's the star of the show right there. That's the fucking star of the show. My man! My man! I have a question. You want to, like, come up and watch the show from up here? You want to come up? Bring that motherfucker up here. Come on. Come see the show. And I need this man right now. Come on, boss. Come on, man. Look at all those strong men. You can put them up here. There go. Look at those strong people. Now, fuck it. Put them. Man, you put them right there.